Hello, my Pleiadian loved ones, and welcome back to the Soulmate Journey Empath. This is going to be a combination Akashic Records and Oracle reading for Pleiadian starseeds. So if you think that you may be a Pleiadian starseed, you know that you're a Pleiadian starseed, or you resonate with the concepts of being a Pleiadian starseed, Welcome to the reading. These messages are for you. So um, before I get started, I just want to thank everyone who has been engaging the Starseed content. That is generally the direction that this channel is evolving into. Um, and this is for a number of reasons. Um, obviously, I identify as a Starseed. Um, I have a Pleiadian origin and also belong to the Mentakan soul group. And um, so that truth is really important to me. It really guides my perspective. It guides my practice as an Akashic librarian, as, <clears throat> excuse me, a channel um, to soul group um, energies with specific guides. Um, and um, it's just, I feel like with all of the downloads, all of the channeled messages that I'm getting at this time, um, there's so much Ascension energy happening, um, at, at this particular moment, this video is being recorded on, um, the end of January, 2020. Um, but there's a lot going on, um, Ascensions, star seed awakenings, um, twin flame, blue flame unions. There's a lot of things going on um, for folks that have uh, a soul vibration of 5.0 or more. And so I really feel guided to uh, support and provide messages for those of you that are resonating at 5.0 or above uh, to kind of guide you through um, the ascension process, through star seed awakenings, and to deliver messages um, from my guides that uh, come from different soul groups. So, um, I suppose a loose term for it would be cosmic or galactic mediumship. <laughs> and I just feel really drawn to take the channel in that direction. Of course, I will be offering other content um, as I feel in inspired and called to do so. So I wanted to go ahead and open up the reading um, with the notes that I have from going into the records and connecting with my Pleiadian guide, Ada. And so this specific um, access to the records was about 3 p.m. on the 22nd of January. And this is automatic writing um, that I composed when I connected with my guide. And um, the, the phrase that was brought to me was social justice. So... Um, this is dictated from Ada, who is Pleiadian. You have been given a Stentarian voice. You have been given the awareness from your lived experience in a higher vibrational society. That is a collective of humanity. Lyrans came to build this brave new world we know of healing and light. You know equality is not only possible, but a lived reality. We as Pleiadians foster the light and the truth. We serve the galaxy and the Council of Light and the larger multi-system Federation of Light. We foster peace, ascension, and connection to our divine source. You are us. We are you. You see inequality and injustice on earth spurred by the workings of negatively oriented souls. This agenda favors severance from your divinity, which leads to the exploitation of other human souls. This darkness is the great war that plagues humanity on earth and throughout the universe. You woke up at the appointed hour because it is time to align with your mission. You are, in earth terms, social justice 
agents. You see exploitation, greed, selfishness, bigotry. You see corruption. We call on you to your purpose to call out, identify, and educate your world about how destructive these ways are for collective consciousness and to be an agent of change as you agreed to be. You may remember in the lives that you've lived that skin color, resources, culture, gender, and sexuality are not hierarchical distinctions. We live in love. Shine your light into the consciousness of planet Earth, toppling systems of oppression against humanity. Your soul family is here to guide you. Gather your strength and faith. The time is now. So this is a very, very powerful call to action um, for the Pleiadian soul group. And What's really interesting is Ada, Ada's voice is very high, but there was this, this strength in it. And I'm getting the throat chakra is being emphasized at this time. So, <coughs> excuse me. And there goes <coughs> throat chakra. There goes mine. There goes mine. Now, what's interesting is... To accompany the vibe that I received um, in this channeling, which came out as automatic writing, it, it, it was kind of a mystery to me. So I was guided to the song, This is America by Childish Gambino. And the reason why is because that is the energy that is... That is the vibe of this message that was brought through by Ada. So this led me to investigate a little bit. And um, I feel like it's perfectly ethical to access the Akashic Records for publicly available birth data. And so I looked in on Childish Gambino and Childish Gambino is a Pleiadian. So this vibe of, of calling out, of exercising the throat chakra to live in your truth, um, for, for you Pleiadians, part of living in that truth is calling things out, things that you see that are wrong. Others may see these things and choose to take the path of least resistance, choose to look the other way, choose to not speak up, um, choose to not take a stand. And that is the absolute opposite of what we are being called to do here with this channeled message for stepping in to our mission as Pleiadian starseeds. So what's really interesting is a lot of us have been already working on the heart chakra, uh, the three chakras that are emphasized uh, for Pleiadian starseeds that are um, part of our missions, part of our gifts are the heart chakra, the throat chakra, and the crown chakra. And there's been a lot of work done in the crown. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> a lot of deep healing in the heart chakra. It's time to stand up and speak your truth. This is just amazing. Like I was absolutely fine <laughs> before we started recording this. So there's this call to action to really do the healing and really open up that throat chakra, really be living your truth, be speaking your truth, not being afraid. And what I love here is this reference to a stentarian voice, a powerful voice. And I feel like I had to bring that through in sharing the channeled message with all of you. So um, very, very important. Now, I want to get into some oracle messages here um, that will give us some more information on how we can go about doing this or what else the soul group would like to communicate to us right now. And what's absolutely crazy, this is the beautiful Starseed Oracle that I was eagerly awaiting. I'm so happy that I have it. 
On the bottom of the deck here, we have the messenger. The messenger. Bringing harmony and balance. And this is Syrian energy in, in this card. But the idea of a messenger, of you being a messenger, a messenger for this truth. On the bottom of this other deck, which is the work your light, we do have Mintaken energy. And this is longing for home, belonging the original light workers. So what I'm getting from this on the bottom is that there may be um, several of, of uh, Pleiadians that are feeling like something isn't quite right. Like it's not, they're not completely comfortable. You're not completely comfortable. You don't feel um, that speaking your truth would enable you to continue maintaining some of the relationships that you have in your life is really what I'm picking up there. And then from the soul's journey oracle, look at this, honesty honesty this is and, and what i love is look at these colors here we have this purple for the crown chakra look at this blue for the throat and then supported with confidence again i'm thinking of ada's message about a stentarian voice this is honesty with a stentarian voice i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself and then Nari Anastasia's Starseed Oracle, on the bottom here we have truth. Truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and get some messages. For Pleiadian Starseeds, what are some messages from the Council of Light for Pleiadian Starseeds? Okay. And we have some there. And again, look, there's the messenger on the bottom. You are a messenger. We are messengers. This is part of our mission. And again, emphasis heavy here on the throat chakra. And I know this is going on for all of us. Um, I have been uh, dealing with um, purging, cleansing, healing my own throat chakra. And so um, it, it's something that we're collectively going through because um, the time for sitting back, the time for allowance, um, it, it's past. It's past. This is a very fervent call to action. Oh my gosh. And here we go. First card, lifting the veil. Lifting the veil. Question everything question everything ada discussed exploitation corruption tyranny bigotry question everything you see these things going on around us um no matter what part of the world you're in no matter what culture or um society you find yourself in in this life there are examples of this everywhere so yeah, anything unaligned must go. And that's really powerful. That's really echoing those messages that came through from Ada from the Akashic Records. And this is why portal doors are opening. The time is now. The time is now was very succinct, very clear in that channel messages. Doors are opening. You decide rewards the wild card so this is really beautiful here we are faced with a choice do we want to walk through this portal and bring light codes in to elevate the collective consciousness or are we still apprehensive are we still holding back in some capacity 
Wow, this is beautiful energy. Again, we have been talking energy here. I think it's no surprise. Um, in my work with the records, um, I see a lot of folks that are in the similar boat to me that have a Pleiadian origin and a uh, Mentakan um, soul group membership as well. And um, both soul groups are light workers. And part of being a light worker is being authentic speaking that authentic truth and by just living by just doing what is authentic for you others observe others are inspired and so this is beautiful seeing potential bringing unconsciousness to light waking folks up with this with this uh heel throat chakra and uh, the unique perspective that you have because the Pleiades um, have utopian societies. There are multiple um, humanoids. There are multiple appearances, um, multiple genders, multiple, it's just, and, and it works. It works because unconditional love is the foundation lost lands soul memories are gifts you have done this before yeah you've done this before you've lived this truth that we are trying to consciously bring in to the collective here on planet earth this is a lived truth and i love it because these messages are just really confirming um what ada wanted us to know which which is a a, a call to action absolutely beautiful and here let's get into the work your light oracle like i said still have um men talking energy coming through i'm getting that um some of us may also belong to the men talking soul group if not um that there there is this um connection that you have uh with men talkings who are also trying to be authentic to speak their truth and um to use light work as a healing modality to to ascend our collective all right oh my goodness so call in your tribe soul family you don't have to do it alone and i'm getting that um a lot of you that even don't belong to the mentakan soul group um maybe coming into contact with some mentakans that are a great support system um if you happen to have membership in both the pleiadian and the mentakan soul group um not only do you have um the power to influence using the throat chakra um, getting these messages, filtering through the heart and projecting them using the throat chakra. Um, but Mintakin energy is very supportive. Um, Mintakins are great coaches, great cheerleaders of people, uh, great support systems. And um, so for some of you that don't duly possess um, these starseed characteristics. What I'm really getting is that you're going to meet some Mentakins and they're going to be a great, great support to help you fulfill this mission. Similar energies. So there's a lot of mutual understanding. We also have play, have fun, celebrate. So don't be so serious. Don't be so serious. There's a fear in, in coming through and allowing yourself to speak from a genuine place because um, obviously we have we come from diverse places, have diverse experiences, and um, there's usually a lot of pushback um, when we, for lack of a better word, end up calling things out. Um, and so this is a, a big message that to keep that heart chakra open, so that it's effectively channeling um all all your channeled messages are are being filtered through the heart chakra before they come back up to the throat chakra the play is going to keep that heart chakra um open full healed um also 
there's just a playfulness um, about Pleiadians. There's a playfulness. There's very much um, what I get from this is remembering to stay in touch with your inner child. Um, this is part of Pleiadian magic. Uh, this is part of um, the characteristics of what make us Pleiadian star seeds. Very much in touch with our inner child. And this is a message. Um, these messages are from the Council of Light. This is a message. Um, make sure that you're continuing to maintain, to feed, to nurture the inner child so that these chakras that are utilized by your starseed mission are operating at their optimum. Imrama, this is beautiful. Like, where are you being called? What are you being called to do? You're feeling the calling. And with all of this throat chakra energy coming up here in the card, um, I think this is also really going back to that other card we had here with the portal. Are, are you being called to take this step and speak up, start expressing and speaking your truth? Next, we have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So um, what I'm getting is that many Pleiadian star seeds at this time are actually uh, going through this throat chakra healing. And um, this is amazing because what, what I'm getting from this instantly is there's some DNA activation going on that is helping and strengthening this chakra so that you can step full on into your Pleiadian starseed mission. Let's work on, ooh, lessons, lessons. What lessons? And we'll take these. Okay, so these are uh, kind of karmic lessons um, that are being worked on. And this is, I think for, for those of us that are still, uh, processing things from the heart chakra to reinforce it, grief. And the message here is that I understand that things are taken from me for a reason. There's also what I'm getting is some, uh, sacral chakra, and what I like to say about that is for those of us that are used to light working, um, have been natural light workers before even the star seed awakening. Um, it's, it's very common, um, because empathy is a gift among Pleiadians, among Mintakans, a lot, a lot of star seeds have that gift. Um, but that in a means to continue being empathic to others, when there are things that are too heavy to hold in the heart chakra and keep going, we force them down into the sacral chakra. And that's also an empathic center. This is the center of divine feminine energy. So what I'm getting here is in terms of your energetic polarity, a lot of us have our divine feminine under integrated and it needs some healing here with this grief message. So there are some things that you may have been carrying around with you for quite some time that you weren't even very heart conscious of that are really manifesting down in that chakra. And this is affecting, and this could be the issue with the throat chakra. This is affecting the solar plexus, which is the divine masculine. Um, that that divine feminine is, is supporting divine masculine. So if it's out of balance, so is your confidence. So is your comfort. And that is really affecting here freedom with this throat chakra and crown chakra. A freedom, feeling the freedom to go ahead and speak up. Freedom, I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. Power, empowerment, stentarian voice. Like, this is absolutely beautiful. So let's see from the Starseed Oracle, what messages do we have 
for my Pleiadian star seeds from the Council of Light. What messages? I'm gonna take those. All right. So, first things first. Blue flame, connect to the blue flame to ignite the fire of love in you. So, um, this again, blue, blue flame. <laughs> so there's a lot of emphasis here on getting, getting your corporal body, getting your, um, <clears throat> getting the energy systems in your body balanced so that you are able to fully take advantage of all of this energy within you that's around us um, that is here to support um, our mission as star seeds and to support us individually as souls living a human experience so um, blue again this emphasis on blue creation being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. So um, I'm getting that uh, for a lot of us, rather than just kind of getting on a soapbox about issues, that creating something symbolic, um, art, music, um, creating something, writing something, um, is really a, a powerful modality to be able to express this divine truth. And last but not least, I love this message, intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you toward the answers you seek. So if your intuition brought you to this channel, there were messages here for you. The, these messages are for you. And um, so overall here, um, sacral chakra healing, um, some may still be working on the heart chakra. Um, for a lot of Pleiadians, um, you may really benefit from Reiki because hands-on healing um, is something that the Pleiadians have mastered um, back in the Pleiades. And so, um, and this again goes to the empathy here, is if you have an energy exchange um, with, with others, you need to find ways to be able to get rid of that excess energy, to discharge that, to balance yourself, to align yourself. So for some, I'm getting that um, Reiki could be a very beneficial or massage could be very uh, beneficial modalities for you right now. Maybe reflexology. Um, and there is going to be this liberation um, when you feel like you are ready to lift the veil, to step through this portal with the support of soul family. And, you know, this this is your Pleiadian soul group. This this could be um, Mintakans that you know um, that, that have a similar mission. But this is just proof positive here that there is no step you're taking that is not divinely guided, that is not ultimately supported here. So also this invitation to continue nurturing the inner child, to play, to have fun. Um, because that, that childlike essence is one of the gifts that we bring into the collective for Ascension. So I really truly hope that these messages resonated with you. Um, please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. If you have any questions, you want to open a dialogue, please feel free to email me. That information is in the description box below. I do have a storefront, Soulmate Journey Reads on Etsy. Um, all of my listings for private readings are available there. That is also in the description box below. Um, if you are 
interested in following me on social media, I do have an Instagram. I tend to be a little bit more active there. That information um, is in the description box below. So I thank you so very much. Be bold, my Pleiadian star seeds. And as always, I am sending you so much love and light. Bye-bye.